I know a lot of you are thinking about getting Macintoshes, and of course the most attractive package is the relatively inexpensive Mac Mini, especially if you're a PC owner, because you can just hook up your keyboard and your mouse and your monitor, you don't have to buy a new one. The Compact Mac is beautiful, well-designed computer, but, you know, it's, it's a small case. There's not a lot you can do to expand it, uh, and, and there are not many extras included. So uh, today we've got a gadget guy, Sean Carruthers, here to talk about what to do, how to jazz up your Mini with some cool accessories. And this is his Mini. That's the one. When'd you buy it? I've had it for a couple months now. You got like it? it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. But, as you mentioned, there's, it's, it's pretty small. It's a little bit underpowered in some yeah. departments. So well, it's got a laptop hard drive, for example. It is. That's very slow. I, I think you mentioned it on one yeah. of your podcasts. Basically, yeah. it is a laptop with yeah. a screen and a keyboard. Yeah, yeah. So, so how, do we, uh, how do we upgrade it here? Well, there's a lot of add-ons that have come out. It's become a virtual growth industry lately. Mm -hmm. Things to add to it. So one of the things that it's really short on is ports. So on the back. Ports are the connections of the right. back. Yeah. So USB ports. You've got yours filled up. I I've noticed. already got them filled up right now because we've got a few things hooked up to it. <laughs> Look at but, it. But there's two ports here, two USB <laughs> ports over there, so, yeah. and uh, one FireWire port. And one of the big problems is the USB 2 ports, your keyboard goes in there. Oh, so you, one's already gone. One's already gone. So you have one USB left and one FireWire left. Right. And if you put a mouse in there. That's it. That's the other one. Well, though, you could put the mouse on the keyboard in many cases. Right. Well, you, but not it, in PC keyboards. Not in the yeah. PC keyboard. Yeah, yeah. So what you're definitely going to want is you're going to want a hub. Yes. Right. Even if you get the, the Macintosh keyboard, the, uh, the ports on the back of that one for USB aren't powered. They're not powered, right. right. So if you have anything that requires power, you're going to be out of luck. Now, hub's a good idea, even on a PC. You never have enough right. USB ports. So. Right. What kind of hubs do you recommend? Well, hubs this that fit cool. with the Mini. So this is the Look Belkin uh, hub. It, so this uh, goes right under the Mini. Right on it. And the it idea would like be, you, you wouldn't even know that you've got, you know, right. kind of just a little bit more room here. So Let's instead of the ones that are plugged in here, you would uh, plug these a two little short, And it's got little shorties, too. Yeah, so, so it just connects right up. And then you've got uh, one extra firewire on the back, three USB. And on the front of the pad, you've got one of each. Now, I notice it's not powered. It's not powered, no. It uh, does that's, have a little light here, which kind is of a about the only little bit of technology yeah. it has in it. So, Can you use devices that need powered hubs on this? Um, well, it, you'd have to put a powered hub into okay. that. Okay, so well. this, this would not be a choice for anything that needed a powered hub. No, I mean, it's nice and compact if you don't really right. want to add a lot of space yeah, uh, like to it. your little yeah. setup. It's, it's, it's nice and discreet. So that's the Belkin. How much does that run? That one is about 50 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. And, uh, and there are lots of not-so-cute-looking powered hubs, mm -hmm. even for less money, that you could hook on there. Right. They just wouldn't look as good. Right. And the nice thing about FireWire, actually, is you can chain them. So you right. can chain your one device, a hard drive, through this, and then right. chain something else through that. So right. FireWire isn't as big an issue. Right. If you do need USB power, you might want to look at something else. This is a powered hub? That's a powered hub. It's from the Plasticsmith. And again, <laughs> it's made out of plastic. It's made out of plastic, and it has... Uh, a base, uh, it, it acts like a base to go under your So the mini, mini it so actually it, looks like a mini. It's about the same size as a mini. You just put the mini right on top of it. Yes. And then there. Yeah. And uh, it, it has a power connector on the back, so. Uh, That's important. I think you really should get a powered so hub. Definitely. If you're going to get a hub. Yeah. And the neat thing about this one What's is actually, that? it actually makes the base glow blue. Ooh. So this is the mini shack. It's called the mini shack glow. And the reason it's called the Glow is because it glows. You can get a cheaper version that doesn't have Ooh. that. And if you want to add your own hub in there and you want to save a little bit extra money. You could try Patrick Norton crazy. He hates <laughs> this kind of stuff. That's great. I love it. And there's actually a little bit of space in here, too, so you can tuck cords in there. I had a mouse pad, that USB mouse pad that glowed. Drove Patrick up the wall. I like glowing things. It really did. He just hated it. He said, why do you have that glowing mouse pad? Yeah. See, the thing about the glowing thing here, it actually eats up one of your USB ports. So, you know, it's not necessarily the most and practical And some power. Thing. And yeah. some power. Yeah. Not much, though. I'm sure it's LCD. Right. Okay. What else we got here? Wow. I like that. Yeah. Well, How much is that, by the way? That one is about uh, 70 bucks. Oh, you paid the price. So it's a bit pricey, but you get you the, the hub price. in there. It's seven ports. In there. Now, this is something you're going to have use, get some oh, use out of. God, think. yes. You, yeah. If you have a big iTunes collection, you want extra hard drive space, because I think at, at present this comes with about 80 gigabytes on board at maximum. Now, this is going to be connected via FireWire yeah, this or, one, or USB. Yeah, I, I would suggest FireWire for that. FireWire is always better. Just, is it as fast or faster than the Mac Mini uh, internal? I guess it would be, wouldn't it? it if it's a 7200 yeah. RPM hard drive. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. it's got a full-size desktop hard drive yeah. in there, so you get pretty good speed out so of it. So you'd, you'd almost want to put your, your you know, demanding stuff right on here. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, the this thing I like about looking. this is it wasn't designed for the Mac Mini, right. but It again, does fit. That's right. because the Mac Mini is about the same size and shape as a hard drive. <laughs> Look so at that. It, now, see, I think that looks top. good. Yeah. It doesn't glow. But. It doesn't glow, but it's got a blue light on the front. How big a hard drive in that? That one is 400. Uh, 400 gigabytes? 400 gigabytes. And uh, there's a new one coming out from Seagate that's 500 gigabytes plus. <laughs> you can't use this on the Mac Mini, but right. uh, FireWire 800. 
Oh, that's neat. But that's neat. for this one, it's 400. Uh, How much for 400 gigabytes? gigabytes? I mean, that's going to be expensive. 400 gigabytes. You're so. getting the latest and the greatest. Oops. Yeah, that's just a, a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not bad. All right. Finally, we've got some little doohickeys. Yeah, a few little doohickeys. First of all, we're going to plug this thing plug in. Plug the mini in. Make sure that we can see what's going okay. on. Okay. Should I switch it over here? All right. Yep, there's our mini. Now there's what? Mini. And uh, we've got right here the AirClick USB. Okay. Might take a while for that to click right. in. There we go. So. Uh, Oh, this is cool. What does this do? That right there is a remote control. So it hooks up to a USB port. You need a powered one. This is I why like you'd need this. So yeah. you plug it into there. Or you could plug it directly into the mini if you, if you have had the room. Space. That's why it's got that little elbow, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what it has is uh, it, it has software that comes with it that allows you to use it with iTunes, oh. with iDVD, with Keynote, oh. with anything that requires forward and back motion. And you use this little remote control yeah. here to control it. Right. It has an RF remote control, so you can use it anywhere in your house. You don't have to be right beside it. You can be in another room. Oh, this would be good if you gave speeches. You could control your presentation system. Right. Hey, Amber, can I throw you the, the remote control? See, it's Amber's across the room. Definitely. See if I can pass it to you. See my best Joe it. Montana. <laughs> try not to hit the lights. Try not to hit this Denko's head. And hopefully it'll there we go. Okay. Catch. Yeah, it's throw, got a little lock. I on throw it like too. a girl. I'm sorry, <laughs> no, but Amber catches is. like a girl. So, well, I don't. Exactly. I don't want to say you catch like a man because that would be an insult. You catch like a, a professional baseball playing catcher girl. Thank you. Okay, now she should <laughs> be able sweet. to uh, press. Now you the, can control this. Okay, we got iTunes uh, running. We here. have iTunes running. Oh, and, and I uh, see. There's a little uh, uh, icon at the top of the screen that shows the remote control. Right. Oh so, look. Yeah. So it just it went sees off, it. and now it should be. Uh, should start playing. We hope. Um, I th don't there know. we go. There. It takes a while sometimes to get it started for the first time. And now the flaming lips are playing. I love this man. And now we had them on call for help. You know, well, Wayne, what's his, what's the guy's Wayne name? Coyne. Wayne Coyne. Is that the guy that got bit by the spider, or was it the other one? I think it was the other guy. Yeah. But um, yeah. So now you have forward, back. Isn't that you great? have uh, mute control. You Look. Have volume. So this is now because it's RF. You could have your mini. Uh, in your in your office and you're sitting in your stereo, you can control it that way too. Right. If we're hooked up that one. Right. Wow, that's really cool. One more thing. One more thing. There's we, more. We have a Waterfield uh, travel bag here like for it. A, it's a mini slipcase, and this is designed. You use this when you come back because I know you bring I your do. mini over here. I, I do. I bring the mini, yeah. and uh, if, for people that want to use it at the office and at yeah, home, I like that. You just put this in. It comes oh. with a strap for ex extra eight dollars if you just want to spend thirty nine. It comes just with the bag, and, and it's heavily padded. It's heavily padded. You can tuck it into your briefcase and then just use it as your machine, no matter where you go, without worrying about scuffing it up. How much? It's about forty bucks. I oh, said. you said that. And yeah, an extra, yeah. an extra eight more bucks for the strap. strap. That's right. Sorry, I'm paying attention. There you have it, some great mini accessories. Sean Crothers is a freelance technology writer, editor of, at GlobalHermit.com, and uh, he uses Mac Mini more often, but it's so small he keeps losing it. Actually, he keeps leaving it here. We're happy about that. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, if you're looking for links to the products he suggested, you know where to go. Show notes, callforhelptv.com.